Well, hello, viewers. Basically, today I'm cutting a 24 tooth gear, indexed with a 24 tooth gear, and I'm about halfway done. Just thought I'd take you along a little ride or view, so to speak, because things do definitely get close when you're cutting this small gear. Uh, looks like I should have made the shaft maybe about another half inch to three quarters of an inch longer because you can see the little gouges I'm putting in to make sure I've got a complete pass on the gear blank and basically I'm starting to mark up this it's not really hurting anything and I'll probably turn it down when I'm done pull the shaft out of the uh, index here attachment and basically turn that down a little bit but to turn a 20 or cut a 20 tooth gear things might really be snug there uh, I've added a couple of washers as you can see to move the gear out further away on the shaft and I do have a little bit of thread left so I could add another um, washer or two but Basically, I think what I'll do is I'll add maybe three-eighths or half an inch to the length of the shaft to make a new shaft for it. Anyhow, I'm going to start up the lathe here, and I'm feeding in at 43%. Seems to work good for cutting this smaller tooth gear as well. Go-go juice, and we'll start moving around. Still using the marks on the side of the carriage. I've moved them a little bit because, like I say, things do get snuggish. knob 
Fill it up. Rotate one tooth. Drop it back down. Make sure it's engaged properly. And then lock it in. And we're ready for another pass. Okay, so here we've done just done the last pass. So I'm going to unlock the spindle and move the indexing dog up out of the road. And we're going to have a boo at the job that we got. settings but the looks of it got a pretty good looking gear like I say the collars marked up a little bit there where the cutter engaged with it that's okay So we'll take her out, clean her up, and see what she looks like. Okay, so this is the 24 tooth gear that I just got done cutting. I don't know whether this will focus well enough to show you that basically after cleanup, it looks really good. Nice and smooth at the bottom of the valley of the tooth. Wish this camera would focus better, but we got what we got. Uh, I did touch it with a file just at the one edge where the cutter was coming through. But basically I'm quite happy. One other thing I noticed, and I'll just mention it in case somebody else has a milling attachment similar to mine, is basically when I was milling the body of the uh, housing, I noticed I was getting about 10, 15 thou difference between one side and the other. So what I did is I checked with the dial indicator and I found out that the mark on the uh, milling attachment was off so what I did is I filled it in with black and then rescribed a new mark beside it uh, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera but basically that's the new mark there that I scribed and it's off by almost a degree not a big deal on a shortcut like I'm doing on this gear but it does make a difference if you're trying to keep something aligned. I just thought I'd mention it in case somebody else has a milling attachment. They may want to check that with a dial indicator. Basically on the vice body surface all the way across. As you move the cross side in and out, shouldn't get any difference if it's truly set on 90 degrees. <laughs> 